Hello, I'm Shelley Swanlin, Vice President of Business Banking at CIBC. And I'm here today with Sean Forn, Managing Director, Business Transition Planning, to talk about a very important topic, how you successfully transition your business. So establishing a business and making a success is not easy. But once you've established that and you've accomplished that, transitioning out of that business is even more difficult. Do you have any thoughts or insights that you would share with business owners about what business transition planning is and how it differs from succession planning? Shelley, I think of business transition planning as really about providing for the sustained continuity and, and viability of the business, making sure that the next generation can take it to an even better level than the founder took it to begin with. That can entail a transition within the family. It can entail a transition to a third party. It really is about who can provide the leadership that the business really needs going forward. The, the founder's relationship with the business has to come to an end. That's inevitable and not always readily accepted by the people that we work with. But I see business transition being really a wider concept that contemplates both transitions within the family or the current employee base or also to a third party, but it's really about who's best to lead the business forward. So my, my sense is that it would be an emotional issue for owners to actually look at how they're going to exit their business. It's been their lifeblood for so long. So if you think about planning for that day, in your view, do you think that business owners are dealing with the reality of their need to transition out of the business? I think business owners are attached to their business, as you've said. I think it is an emotional issue for them. The business also provides uh, a good lifestyle. If it's a successful yeah. business, uh, the family enjoys uh, the fruits of the labor of the, of the people working in the business. And so we need a balance in our lives to be happy, a balance between work and play. And, and I see business owners very much enjoying that balance and the lifestyle it provides. So they're not in a rush uh, to, to part with it. But if I can get them to understand that on an emotional level, their relationship with their business does have to come to an end, then that brings a choice into focus. Are they going to ignore that reality or are they going to plan for it in a way that doesn't leave their family or their employees in a bad position if suddenly there's a reversal in terms of their health or in terms of the business environment itself? We see many business owners who have left it too late they are the business, they have all of the relationships, they have all the know-how, and we encourage them to try to really download that expertise and, and invest in the Tier 2 management and see that as an investment in their future freedom, not necessarily as just an expense to beef up the Tier 2 management. So what are some of the reasons you hear from people for not thinking about it or leaving it too late? I think they're preoccupied with the day-to-day -day focus sure. that the business requires. Uh, they're busy making the business work and, and so it's difficult for us to step back and, and take a longer term view. We really see four different scenarios taking place in terms of what's prompting business owners, what's driving them to confront this. And the first would be what I call the unintended seller, the, the, the owner of a business who's been approached often by a private equity firm who's looking to come in and inject some capital. So the unintended seller of a business who has no succession plan, hasn't really thought of it, has been busy working head down, all of a sudden there's a buyer on the doorstep. So that would be one scenario. Uh, the second scenario would be the owner of a business who's very loyal to the employee base and to the management team and wants to afford them the opportunity to become business owners. And so we see a desire to try and facilitate a friendly management buyout. Uh, that's a scenario. And then there are the uh, business owners, typically in their 50s, who realize that they're getting on, still see opportunity for the business, still see growth ahead, but want to protect their families, de-risk themselves, take a bit of money off the table, right. but still remain committed. And so they're often interested in, in a partial exit where a partner will come in, inject some capital, they can take some money off the table, right. And now they're taking even more risk than perhaps they did before because they're risking somebody else's capital. And then finally, there'd be the business owner who is just tired and who's typically in their 60s or 70s who wants to sell and get out completely. They're, they're, they're done in terms of working in the business. And they typically are selling to someone already in that industry who doesn't have an interest in the management but can achieve synergies with their own infrastructure, but they want the business for its its position in the marketplace. Sean, thank you very much for joining us today.
Sean Forn, Managing Director, Business Transition Planning at CIBC.